The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. It's time for story time. Uh, just before we get into story time, the costumes are getting more and more impressive. Yeah, they uh, are. And I was, I, I, I was drawn to a particular costume and it was a kid with a box on their head. Mm. <laughs> and I was but with like, a tiny <laughs> slot in it. What is that? Okay. Anyway, it's called the mystical box. Mm-hmm. So apparently a, a, an ex-student yes. wrote that book that went to Bull Creek Primary. Wow, and, that's amazing. And that student's younger sibling goes here now, I believe. So yeah. the mystical box, the best, box. there's the mystical box right mystical there. Box. The best thing, I said, how are you going to have a food or drink? Inside that box is a little shelf and there's a fruit box with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. There's that that them that box. That's commitment. That's commitment. That is. But Gov, you've been able to pick a book out for oh. us to read. From your I collection. Have, yes, from my personal collection. <laughs> uh, it's an Eagles book, obviously. Yes. I couldn't go away from it. So who's ready for story time with Jeremy McGovern? Don't All get right. too excited. The kids are really beside themselves. Be careful themselves. what you wish for. Okay, Gov, take, take it away. away. Am I starting? Yeah, yeah now. Yes. What's yeah. the book called? It's called Expecting an Eagle. Okay. An Here we go. Eagle. An eagle is expected any day now. There is much to do. <laughs> <laughs> what, you got to tell us what's happening in the pictures. Oh, come on, Nathan. This isn't a visual book. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, it, it literally this is. It's audio. I think it's what's called it's a picture book. It's an audio book. book. <laughs> oh, there's a mum. Oh, I'll hold it up for the kids. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a mum. Can everyone see? So there's a mum sitting down waiting for her baby to come. Yes. How the dad's doing made. everything as always. As always. As yeah, always. Well said, Gav. Well said. Our, our producer, Amy, looked at it and said, this is a fantasy novel. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. it's a for sure. The dad seems for to be helping. Mom. On seeing the new arrival, born is pride. A new eagle is a great source of joy. They've just had the baby and they're all enjoying it. So that wow, woman gave great. birth to an eagle. Yeah, that would have been eagle. painful. A but maybe a future eagle. eagle. Oh, the claws. I would have thought the that they would catch. Them. Maybe yeah. a future eagle. The talons. Yeah. A fortress is being built where an eagle can fly high, and they're sitting around their house. There's a young kid. Playing with blocks. Building a fortress. And, and they watch like the Shannon Hearn kicking a ball on his <laughs> left, left foot. On his left foot. I'd and Aussie, Aussie the Eagles well. outside the window. Yeah, Aussie the Eagles just keeping an eye on everyone. <laughs> Here we go. It's Here we go. Interesting now. The blue and yellow colours shine brightly across the West Coast sky. They're out having a picnic with all the West Coast gear. Oh, and, and the, the baby's lying on the rug like Jeremy does. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that baby's crying. <laughs> Playing with Sleeks his back, ankles. getting a massage. Um, that baby's ha- hammies are a bit more nimble, yeah, I would think. A little bit more flexible. <laughs> The will to win is strong in the baby eagles and they're ready for the big game. Wow. And there's a group they're... of eagles, babies. Yeah. Looks like future eagles, babies, about yep. to tear it up. Yep. Plays football. Tear they're it up. Yeah. They're in the and, and seem to be un- everywhere. They seem to be unsupervised and just <laughs> left in a park. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the baby eagles are, can be unsupervised. Yeah, they, they can. They can. Smart. They yes. yep. uh, they the end. Oh, that was the end. That's the that end. was the end. Yeah. Oh. Someone, someone called that a book. <laughs> yes. Was, uh, I was, I was wrapped when I seen the, the pages were ten centimeters s- thick. You didn't skip a few. No, no. Really came to an abrupt okay. end, didn't? No, sorry. no skips. Sorry. That's the it. author of that, that is Jacqueline Krupe. Oh, Jacqueline Krupe. Jacqueline, you, you took you, us all for a ride. You phoned it in, Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. You've looked after me. Oh, how amazing was that? Jeremy McGovern read a book. Everybody. Okay. I know. It, is Jeremy McGovern... Give a cheer if Jeremy McGovern's good at reading a book. Go. Wow. Give a cheer if Jeremy McGovern, <laughs> Jeremy McGovern is better playing football. Go. I think they're, they're well, really never in doubt. I, I would have been worried if they, yes. <laughs> they didn't scream the second time. Yeah. Um, the book reading's not my forte. Gov, thank you so much for coming down to no Wall Creek Primary School this morning. Well, um, what an honour, everybody. Mm-hmm. Give it up for the oldest West Coast Eagle. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, Chris. <laughs> the very it. oldest man. Um, it's 17 to 8 on Nova. We're the big birds, kings of the big game. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Now, it's an exciting time when you're at school. We've still got Gov here with us as well because um, the canteen, our canteen order just arrived. Oh. And I just love that universally the uh, food is put in a washing basket. basket. (laughs) Um, This is an improvement on when I was at school, though, because when I was in school, it wasn't packed in a foam thing to keep it warm. They just threw all the individual bags into the washing basket and away we went. Are we going to go through this now? Yeah, we We are. are. One of the things I remember, Friday was the day. If you're going to get a lunch order for me, it was always a Friday. 
Oh, Friday. Yeah. Was yeah. there a special yeah. on Friday or yeah. uh, mum just got lazy? M- m- yeah, I was thinking that, but I think a lot of parents over the weekend... It was Thursday it was night, Monday. bingo night, was it? And <laughs> uh, Suzanne couldn't double well, up. Well, you get down to the Willett Sports Club, you never leave. That's the problem. It's the back <laughs> end of the week. Everyone can't be bothered. They can't yeah. be asked. We're the same. Well, Friday's a day. Let's That's see what's up for grabs, everybody. The beverages are top shelf here. Mm. Mm. May I present to you, Jeremy McGovern, Oh, what have we got? We're going to chock splash chill brown. Yeah, so chop milk. Brown's chock chill. Go. How many mils, Natalie? Creamy rich uh, <laughs> chock splash there. You can't, you can't. It's not. 300 uh, mils because that's just enough, Nathan. That's just enough. <laughs> we don't want to be pigs. No, that's right. And now we've got our lunch sure bags is, in here. Yes. This is very exciting. All right, so here we go. This what have we got? This is Nat. That's this mine. Yours. Yes. Sean. Oh, this is Thank pretty you. good because apparently, according to this, and, and I ordered a sausage open. roll which is priced at $3,000. I think Flash has <laughs> yeah, so really hit it well, all the great school. This one's 3000 as well, and the <laughs> sauce is 500 bucks. <laughs> The whole lot, what does hey. your lunch come to? $5,000. Oh. It's amazing that war in Ukraine, the price of sauce is gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what it is, Sean? They had to shut down the sausage roll mines as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did exactly. you all get sausage rolls? Yes. Yeah, sausage oh, yes. rolls. Oh, you get sausage roll well, over Mrs. a pie. Max. We, we love a sausage roll. We love more, a sausage more roll. More than a pie? Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. More than life itself, Gov. Oh. Who loves... Okay, we want you to tell us if you love sausage rolls or pies more, ready? So, who loves a meat pie? All right. Who loves a sausage roll? Yeah. Oh. The people See? have spoken. Really interesting. Oh, that's fine. You leave the pies for me. You guys can have the sausage rolls. <laughs> hey, Gov, uh, lunch orders for you, mate. What were they back in the uh, day? Yeah, I was hitting a meat pie. I used to get hammered a fair bit. Um, we used to... Uh, Remember cheesies? Yes, yes, yes. Is, mate. In Kalgoorlie, right at high school, yeah. their cheesies were like thirty cents or something, and it's just ma- melted cheese on bread. People would Best. get detention to get out of class early to line what up because they would only do to? like six slices. What high school did you go to? Uh, Eastern Goldfield Senior High School. I went to JPC. You went to John Paul College. Yes, for a year. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, there you go, mate. That'll blow oh, your mind. Oh, you fancy. Chris. <laughs> private school. Yes. Yeah. Well, you went yes. to JPC. Yes, I went to JPC for a year. Mm. I was in Kagul. He got around. Yeah. But this blows my mind because JPC growing up were our arch enemies only because they were the rich school. Yeah, they were the Ponty private school kids. Yeah, I was only there for a year. The parents could only afford one year. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> what, was the can- what was the canteen like there? Yeah, it was good. Very good. Was it? Yeah, they, they had a mixture of cheeses. Yeah. They used to put the spaghetti yeah. and then oh, cheese on oh, yeah, nice. the tin spaghetti. Yeah. So oh, they did. That was good. They didn't have Chop- chocolate chills, but they did have the blood of Christ. <laughs> um, apparently, that was just really light on the fizz, so you can delicious. slam it down fast. Yeah. We had holy delicious. water. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do you remember, did you guys have yummy drummies? Yeah. Yummy drummies, yummy drummies no. were in the shape of a chicken leg and made out of all the stuff that you sweep out so, yes. of the chicken factory. <laughs> so they <laughs> literally beacon yeah, and beacon right. fried. But they were yeah. delicious. From the deep so fried. Yeah. At our, our school, there were two days when you wanted to order a lunch order because there were there were daily specials. Oh, okay. So, so the daily special on one day was a battered sausage and chips. <gasps> And another day, it was a fish finger and chips. And like one either, fish finger? Yes, one. either of those days. <laughs> either of those days were the day to get it. Because uh, no other day were I'm their sorry. chips available. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be lining up on the one fish finger day. <laughs> yeah. That is the shortest <laughs> straw. Don't you at least want two Just fingers? Two fish finger. Two, two is too many, Nathan. Just um, he's teasing single you finger. enough. Just, I don't know if, Just I don't a know single if middle still... fish finger. Yeah, yeah. Please, a single finger. I don't girl. know if they still do it these days, but obviously your parents used to have to work in the canteen. I think a lot of the yes. people... Yeah. These days have full time canteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the moment where you could skip yeah. the line, you could go in the back door and you get all the food for absolutely nothing. You oh, were the yeah. hero of the school. There was, was nothing the worse than the day you forgot to put your order in, though. Oh, there was oh, always oh. one kid every day and you'd forget, you'd, I forgot to put my order in at recess. You realise that there is no hope for you. Yeah. That you will, you will, and you just assume that they were going to let you starve. And also, remember the days as well, because we never had the sausage rolls in the plastic bag. They were just the, the normal oh, sausage yes. rolls. And some Sometimes I would leave them in the pile warmer for what seemed to be 10 days beforehand, mm. and it was hard as a rock. It yeah. was like they were wearing helmets. <laughs> well, that's what sauce is for. It's yes, just that's right. It's not for the taste. Break, it's break down, down the McGovern. <laughs> Did you guys ever have the one person that you had to go to to get the money off at school? There was always one kid that had more money than everyone else oh. for school lunches. And that was you, wasn't it? Yeah, we'd go and scab, scab, out, scab our money off him to get some <laughs> stuff. Would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's There's cool. always one or two kids We had a school. kid that would put you off um, eating your lunch because he wanted to eat it. His name was Doug. So he'd do this thing which grossed 
all the kids out. He would rip the top of his meat pie off, yep. get a straw and suck the no. meat out through a straw like Doug. a drink. No, Doug. Yeah. Unbelievable. Also, it says a lot about your pies if you could suck it through a straw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not sort a of ringy endorsement. But thank you to the uh, Bull Creek Primary School Canteen for our lunch order. We're very happy. Price is a bit over the top, but whatever. Yep. Um, we've got to come up with $15,000 between the three of us. That's all right. <laughs> Gov's got it. That's your lunch Gov's, money from yours. <laughs> Gov's yeah. got to cover it. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Sean Darcy from oh. Fremantle Dockers is with us. Is it story time? It is story time right. with Darcy. Right now? So, yeah, right now, Darcy. Okay, everybody, this is so exciting. Sean Darcy is not only one of Australia's best ruckmen, actually, nay, Australia's best ruckman, but he's also been telling us for years now that he's Australia's best reader. That is he correct. does go that on about it a bit. That he does go on about sure, it. Sure, what's the anxiety at school reading? <laughs> did you? Yeah. I did too. Oh, I didn't like it at all. Then how did you turn it around to become the world's best reader? Yeah, That's what a triumph <laughs> over adversity. <laughs> sure, can you tell us the book you're reading? The title, please. Dotting on a Freo Docker. Doting on a Freo Docker. Did you say dotting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, off to a not fine a, Not a solid start, Darth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're all ready. All right, there. who's ready to hear a story from Sean Dark? And now you, now just got to let you know. You got to explain, you know, just quickly what's happening in, in, the, in picture. the pictures. Okay, and it'd be so even better if you show the kids. Okay. Okay. So the picture is they're chilling on the couch, and sh- the girl is getting a foot rub by the guy. Okay. As always, <laughs> never <laughs> happened. Freo Docker is due any moment. There is much anticipation. Oh, oh she's, she's pregnant. Gonna, she's gonna have a baby. And now they're in the hospital with the family. Oh, look okay, at that. So the lovely. baby's been born. Baby. Very similar to the last book we read. <laughs> Very similar plot. <laughs> yeah. What's happened? The arrival of the Freo Docker is cause for much celebration. Everyone is smitten. Oh, Everyone is smitten. What a good word. a good word, isn't it, boys and girls? <laughs> smitten. Now the, the baby is a little bit more grown and they're playing on the floor. Mm. A Freo Docker must be dotted on... Doted. <laughs> Doted. <laughs> It's not your word, is it? Start again. We we'll pretend we didn't hear that. A Freo docker must be doted on for they are an incredibly precious. Their destiny is written. Their destiny is written. Oh, no, it's so exciting. Their, their destiny might be written, but they've never read much of it, have they? <laughs> and now they're playing. Yes. Inside. Oh. Yes. A close eye must be kept. For a Freya docker stops at nothing. Oh, okay. so the baby is climbing up on the high chair and the parents are there like, whoa. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. And, and then what happens? There's a bunch of them playing. The purple army is tough, strong and mighty. Oh. oh the end. The end. The end. That is a terrible Her book. That was really... Same writer. Jacqueline Krupe. I mean, you know what? So much, do you reckon? Well, she had, like, literally 30 seconds. I went, what have I, what have I, what have I got time for? Oh, I did. Let me write several books. <laughs> I was going to say, 30 seconds, you can come up with something better than that. <laughs> hey, what's the la- Are you a reader? No, I'm not. No? What's the last book you remember reading? Oh... Um, probably like a David Goggins, like... Yeah, da- you can't, can't hurt me, can't, can't hurt me. Can't me hurt me. What's that? David Goggins is an extreme um, marathon runner. He was oh, in okay. Special Forces in, in the States, and he's an absolute mad... So is that kind of like a motivational oh. book? Like yeah. how to, how to, he lived like a really mindset. tough life growing yeah. up, and he was really... And, and then he decided what? to change his life. Didn't he? Like a go at the Armed Forces. Yeah, yeah. become oh, a Navy sad. Seals. A really hard life. Did, did, his, did he not have his parents dotting on him? <laughs> I hate it when they He happen. didn't. His dad was horrible to him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. No, you, you, said, just, you want, said just Angel 9. I didn't want to break this at all. You said just Angel 9, didn't you? Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah did yeah. you? Did, yeah. when, when did that happen? I don't know. Before. You know, I you, could you say said, tonight. You said you would I'll, leave I'll, you. I'll call the rehab coach and possible. tell them I'm like, thanks, Dave. I really appreciate it. What are they going to do? They're not going to fire you, so it's fine. Good. You're Australia's best ruckman and Australia's best reader. We love your work, Darth. Thank you so much. Clearly, I mean, this is the end of the season, technically. Oh, it is. Does that mean it's the end of the line? Will we? Are you going to commit to coming back next year? Yeah, you are. Yeah, if I get another gig. Yeah, you are. I'll, I'll get the contract. No, no, no. I might get... need to read the contract. Sign on the dotted line. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs>
All right. Thank you so much, Sean Darcy. Thanks, guys. Thanks we love you. your work, Dad. Appreciate it. It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We are live from Bull Creek Primary School for Book Week, where it's been going on for some absolute mayhem. Uh, hey, Harry Potter, you want to come over here? Yeah. It's story time. I'm coming. It is story we have a very special friend, Rick Harden from Channel 7. <laughs> Hello, Rick. Rick. Oh, good morning, everybody. Great oh, my God. Hello, you. Uncle Rick. Now, Rick, um, our costumes, for people that weren't aware, Nathan's come as Harry Potter slash Chris Jenner. I look like Chris Jenner. Uh, Nathan's cat in the hat, and I'm Pippi Longstocking. Who are you? I'm the king of hearts. Yeah, you are. You certainly are. It's so a you, great costume. You should Thank be you. beheaded, shouldn't you? Oh, uh, no. Not okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know how the story goes. Hey, hey, Rick, you would wear this out. I can see you wearing this for other occasions other than you, book work. You already had well, this. This is in your wardrobe. You Nathan and I were the court wine bar lunch. <laughs> 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 this is what he does for me every Valentine's Day. Um, firstly, I want to give a big congratulations to somebody who just became a grandfather. Oh, Rick Harden. Are you First a, time. Are you a pop? Are you a grandpa? What have you gone with? Well, nothing yet. So I'm too young for all this. I, I know mean, you obviously. Are. You're basically you're 17. Child. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, it's great. My daughter had a baby, so baby boy, so it'll be good. Oh, oh, that's do gorgeous. you think you're going to get caught? I, I've, I've got a couple of mates who've become grandparents recently, and they are so excited that the, the cycle's turned around and they can't stop doting on their grandchildren. Oh, beautiful little boy, so looking forward to it. Yeah, no doubt about or it. Or as Sean Darcy would say, dotting. <laughs> dotting. <laughs> so, this is a very exciting time mm. because not only do we every night see Rick Arden read the news, yes. but I, I could only dream of what it would be like to have Rick Arden read me a story. Oh, it's the best of both worlds, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I cannot. What, 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 what have we chosen for today? Because it's a giant book you've got there. Well, it's a hearty book. Yes. So, you know, it's called The Gruffalo. Oh, what oh, a Oh, The classic. Gruffalo. I know classic. The Gruffalo. It's a hearty book. There's Wake a... up, you guys, so that's all right. We have a... <laughs> somebody, somebody dressed as The Gruffalo down yeah, here, look, Rick. There yes. she is down yes. there too. Well, this book is for you, my love. So you let me know when you want me to start reading and I'll read it to the kids. Okay. I think we are ready for The Gruffalo by Rick Arden, okay, from Channel well, 7 News. Because it's book week at Bull Creek, it's got a ring to it, hasn't it? So we'll read the Gruffalo. So, kids, here we go. Here we go. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. Mm. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. <laughs> Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. <laughs> Ooh, it's a setup. <gasps> it is. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? <laughs> it's, a bit, no, it's a very unwieldy book, this one, isn't it? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. No. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted oh, fox? Gruffalo. That would probably be nice. Yeah, I reckon. Actually, I'll give it a go. It'd be gamey. Tastes like so chicken. Have you had enough, very gamey. No. Oh, a couple what more. What are you talking just... about? Roasted fox, I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. There is so... I saw one right there. There we go, yes. Yes, yes that is unbelievable. Beautifully read. It was like... I, it felt like you needed to slip a natural disaster in there. So it's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have one of those tonight. <laughs> Major difficulties on the narrows. <laughs> Did you ever have to make book week costumes and stuff for your kids when they were little? Uh, no, I didn't say much, but mm. uh, my wife may have done that. I think that might be a common thing, Sean. Yeah. I didn't do a thing, you know what? I was exactly. kind of thinking about that before. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but we start early in the morning, so yeah. I'll be gone every morning. Oh, you could do the, you could do it the night before. No, that can't happen. <laughs> don't, don't parents just do it in the morning and just rush and put it together? I don't know. Oh, Rick... I think they do, by the looks of some of the kids here today. <laughs> no, I was going to say, it's taken a lot of time to get them ready for this. Some, is that, some is that of them are of, Is that a little kid of banana? Looks like it. Yeah. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is a whole bunch of tape yes. that's been taped around in the shape of a... Are you a banana? You're a yes. banana? Yes. 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 Yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that, no that, I don't. that looks amazing. Yeah. That's a, tri that's a parent's creativity right there. Yes. Rick Arden, you've been on air for 400 years, right? Mm. Well, give or take. Yes, so we've rounded you're, up. You're a Guinness World uh, Record holder. Yes. Have you ever thought about writing a children's book? Because when you were coming in, we thought, what book could we get Rick Arden to read? Is there one about newsreaders? And we don't think there is. Why don't you write a children's book about you and Sue being newsreaders? 
Did you dream that up last night when you're in bed? What do you think? Well, yeah, I could, I could do that eventually, I guess, but no plans at the moment. It's been, it's been, <laughs> why not? You've read this. It'll take you five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take you five minutes, and then you and Sue rolling in the cash. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be the idea, though, would it? It, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, be about oh. the money. It'd be about the kids giving them pleasure. No. No, I'd do it for the money myself. <laughs> I'd do it for the money. <laughs> Come on, Rick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I, look up. I mean, we're not on Channel 7 money, so we wouldn't know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to hear about you radio guys. You know, pretty, pretty well. Hey mate, I, hey, mate, I actually got here on a broom, so don't you talk. <laughs> How, how's work going, Rick? Is it good? Uh, work's going very well. In fact, I really enjoyed doing the story about you for your surprise. That was that was great. And I enjoyed writing the story to it because I'm a journo. I wrote it as well. You wrote it. And the last line was, he's not the Messiah. He's just a very naughty boy. That's <laughs> yeah, you. I ignore it. That's <laughs> not not in, a dad tape. Uh, <laughs> not, not in. Accurate. Yeah, well, my favourite thing was having you whisper in my ear yes. without knowing. You know, While when, you're blindfolded. When you're blindfolded in an alleyway and you get someone whispering in your ear, you never guess it's going to be Rick Harden. Well, no! I, well, I, was, no. I just had a coffee too, so it was sort of hot breath. <laughs> <laughs> he did appreciate it. That is so good. Hey, Rick, this time of year, we're kind of morphing into winter, uh, sorry, spring as you see the weather changing. Do you get more of a pep in your step going to work and getting out and about? I do. I was down at Trig Beach yesterday. Day, going for a surf. And Did the, you? The water's getting a bit warmer. The sun, the sun was out, and I said to a couple of people, "We live in paradise. We're so lucky yeah. to live here." Compared yeah. with being over Russia, being shot down in your private jet. Or, oh, you know, oh I know. Four yeah. days. I know I'm sick. Nice way to throw a news story in. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Super professional. The latest on that, by the way, is I know. tonight at Check six. it out. I know. Yeah. And then Rick will also be sharing some of his favourite mushroom dishes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, you can catch Rick, as always, with Susanna Carr on the Channel 7 News. Thank you so much for coming down You're to Bull Creek Primary and being a part of Book Week. Always a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, look, Rick, look out here. The parade is about to begin. Oh, look this forward to very that. Exciting. All right, everybody, the parade's going to happen very soon, but let's give it up for Ricardo. Woo! Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.